Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a baby hair tutorial. Basically showing you guys how I get my edges to be snatched like this. And if you're liking the way my edges are looking right now, stay tuned because I'm going to show you exactly how I achieve this look. Before we get into the video, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So basically what you're going to be needing is a comb preferably a tail comb but if you don't have a tail comb you can also use any other comb but you have to make sure the teeth are very fine like if you use the comb like this you obviously wouldn't be using the teeth that are more spread apart you obviously be using the teeth that are more closer together because this is what's going to help you achieve that look that you're calling for you you feel me definitely prefer the tail comb i don't know what you guys call it i call it tail comb I definitely prefer the tail comb over this. This gives you more like mobility, you feel a little more comfortable, and you feel like you have more control over what you're doing with, you know, your baby hairs. Unlike this, you'd have to sort of like grip it like this or like this. And then if you're trying to like focus in on a certain area, all the teeth are sort of like leveled out. So you'd be like, Ugh. you know what I mean? It's just, it's not the ideal comb. It's not the ideal comb for your baby hairs. You're loyal. You're loyal. You're grateful. You're grateful. I appreciate you. I appreciate that. Go buy your mama a house. Go buy your mama a house. What? Let's get right into the video. Okay guys, I, I apologize in advance for my unblended concealer. I just felt like I needed to record this video, so I hurry up and, you know, do a little makeup on so I can record this video. And excuse my forehead. I really don't care, to be honest. But I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh my god, her sh is so big, bitch. So, in advance, I'm just telling you I don't care. Um, so basically... Step number one, you want to comb down. Ow! That she hurt. Um, step number one, you want to comb down the amount of hair you um you're going to be putting in it. Well, not in it, but you want to comb down the amount of hair that you're going that you think you're going to need. And yeah, I don't like it too much in the middle, so I'm just gonna part some of that out. After step number one, after you've parted out the amount of hair that you want and separated it from your grown girl hair, uh, you want to get your edge control and just lay. Step three, you want to shape it out with the edge control on it. So this is before we're gonna put, this is before we put our gel. Right, and then right after you do that, what I'm using guys is Gorilla Snot. This is really like, oh my gosh, this does me so much justice. And you do not want to put Gorilla on, Gorilla Snot on by itself. That is why we use the edge control because when we put Gorilla Snot on by itself, it dries. 10 or 12 minutes later, it's lifting up off your skin. Like literally, your skin gets oily, your forehead gets oily, and it literally lifts up. Like it stays, it stays in the shape that you put it in, but it's lifting up off your forehead, like literally. You do not want to use a Gorilla Snot on your hair, on your actual, you know, 
hair hair unless you are going to wash it out so like if I'm planning to keep a slick style for like a good week that's when I would use the girl it's not all over my hair and this this is the pattern I like you feel me everyone likes their own everyone does their own little little thing you know so this video is mostly me telling you what to use not me telling you how to do your baby hairs Now with this, I suggest you guys do this the day of. Okay, do not sleep with this the night before. Do this the day of. So like maybe 30 minutes before you're about to leave, 20 minutes before you're about to leave. Fix your edges up real quick, keep the scarf on, and then do whatever else you need to do. And then once you're ready to leave, you take that bad boy off and you should be good to go. Guys, my eyebrows are so uneven right now. Like, I was I was literally rushing because I was like, no, I have to record this. Help my buddies out, you know. So I'm going to wait about two minutes and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so I'm back and I'm getting ready to take this off. The hair might stick to the scarf, so you want to always pull the scarf downwards. Do not rip the scarf up. So just pull the scarf downwards. And there you go. That's how I lay my edges. To achieve this look, all you need is three things. Edge control, gorilla snot, and a tail comb. Preferably a tail comb. The tail comb is obviously optional. You can use any other comb as long as it has fine teeth. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. And if you didn't like this video, still like and subscribe to my channel. Because I love you all. Yo. Percocet, Miley Percocet, Percocet, Miley Percocet.